Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Marvelous Concepts. Let's begin our today's story. Imagine for a moment, a home improvement store after closing hours. A snake finds its way inside, slithering around the quiet store. Suddenly, it clips itself on a handsaw lying on the ground. The snake, feeling threatened, immediately snaps around and bites the saw. In its confusion and anger, the snake only causes more damage to itself, cutting inside its mouth. The snake, not understanding the situation, takes the saw for an enemy. It wraps its long body around the saw, attempting to suffocate it. But a snake can't damage a saw. Instead, the sharp blade of the saw ends up killing the snake. The snake, in its anger and misunderstanding, ends up being killed by the very thing it perceived as an enemy. It's a powerful tale, isn't it? A story of anger, misunderstanding, and the tragic consequences of negative reactions. Now, you might ask, what does this peculiar encounter have to do with us? Let's dissect it and see. Picture this. We are the snake, and the saw represents the challenges and perceived threats we encounter in our lives. When we feel threatened or hurt, our instinctive reaction is to fight back, just like the snake did. But often, our hasty reactions, driven by anger or resentment, only serve to deepen our wounds, just as the snake's bite on the saw hurt it more. We sometimes mistakenly believe that by holding on to resentment, by refusing to let go of the hurt, we can somehow harm those who've wronged us. But in reality, that resentment is like the snake wrapping itself around the saw. It doesn't harm the saw, but it does harm the snake. In the same way, our resentment doesn't harm those who've hurt us, but it does harm us. It stops us from healing, from moving forward. And when we lash out in anger, hoping to hurt those who've hurt us, we're like the snake trying to suffocate the saw. Our anger doesn't affect them, but it does affect us. It consumes us, blinds us, and often it leads us to act in ways that hurt us even more. Our negative reactions, whether it's anger, resentment, or a desire for revenge, only serve to cause us more pain. They're like a poison we willingly consume, hoping it will harm others. But the only person it harms is us. Instead of reacting like the snake, we should strive to respond with understanding and compassion, even when we're hurt. We should try to see things from the other's perspective, to understand why they acted the way they did. Maybe they were having a bad day. Maybe they're struggling with their own challenges. By responding with compassion, we can let go of the negative energy. We can move on, leaving behind the pain and resentment. We can heal, grow, and focus on creating a better life for ourselves. Just like the snake, we end up hurting ourselves when we hold on to anger and resentment. So let's learn from the snake's mistake. Let's choose compassion over anger, understanding over resentment. Let's let go and move on. So how do we apply this lesson in our lives? Picture this, you're the snake and the saw. Well, that's life's challenges. The moment we snap in anger, we're just biting the saw, hurting ourselves more in the process. Instead, we need to pause, take a breath, and look at the situation from another angle. Let's talk about how to handle these situations. When someone wrongs you, instead of lashing out, try to understand their perspective. Maybe they're having a rough day, or perhaps they're dealing with problems you can't see. By showing compassion, we not only alleviate our own anger, but also open the door to resolving conflicts in a healthier way. But what if the other person remains negative? What if they continue to hurt you? Here's where the power of letting go comes into play. Retaining resentment, holding on to negativity, it's like the snake coiling around the saw, trying to suffocate it. But the only one getting hurt in the process is the snake, or in this case, us. Instead, we must learn to move on. Yes, it's easier said than done, but think about it. The energy spent on harboring negative feelings could be redirected towards something positive, like self-improvement, pursuing a passion, or helping others. When we let go of the negativity, we free ourselves from the chains of resentment, and that's when we start to heal and grow. Remember, our reactions to life's challenges define us. Reacting in anger is like the snake biting the saw. It only causes more harm to ourselves. But when we respond with understanding and compassion, we rise above the situation, we become better. So the next time you're faced with a challenge, don't let anger blind you. Try to understand the situation, show compassion, and if needed, let go and move on. It's not about winning or losing against life's challenges, it's about growing stronger and wiser through them. Remember, don't react in anger, show compassion. Don't hold on to negativity, move on. Don't be like the snake, be better. 